Hello and welcome to our latest unboxing video. Today we have a whole bunch of kids books which we're super excited about. Uh, it's, it's two big boxes but I think we'll go through them pretty quickly because a bunch of them are series. I am Eliza. I'm Amber. Let's get started. There's like a lot. There's like two <laughs> big boxes <laughs> just saying. Oh twinkle twinkle dinosaur. My son is kind of still into board books but so cute. I feel like my kids now, they're like into board books for like nostalgia purposes. Like they'll bring me big piles and be like, let's read these. These are really good for like potty training. <laughs> so. David McCauley, Crossing on Time, Steam Engines, Fast Ships, and a Journey to the New World. So I think that uh, kids will be interested in this. Oh, look, it has all the sort of complicated ship map drawings cool nice another dino book what kind of car does a t-rex drive this looks incredible i'm just saying like look at this cover i really like the art i like it i like that cover design oh nice it's a little bit more wordy than i thought it was going to be but still good jasper and ollie and this is one of those ones with little dialogue bubbles and it is about... I like, the, I like the style of the art. Yeah, I don't know what it's about, but I really like this style. It just makes it fun for kids to look at by themselves or fun to read aloud to them. Baby love, because babies love mirrors. Oh, it's cute. Like bunnies and it's hearts. It's really cute. And we had some of that books by, by her, Sandra Magnus Simmons, yeah. and my kids were like really little, and they were just... They, they have like, so they usually have like little cloth things yeah. coming out of the top. This is called Nerdy Babies in Space. <laughs> <laughs> is this a series? Yeah, there's another one in Nerdy here babies. somewhere. Nerd oh, here's the other Nerdy Babies. Nerdy Babies in the Ocean. <laughs> I really like that. I like the concept. And so it's like very basic facts about space, and then it shows the baby in space. Babies, nerdy babies. <laughs> they all have glasses on because obviously they're nerds nerdy. have glasses. So cool. <laughs> Five little monkeys get ready for bed. That's nice. This is already a book, but it, I think this whole board book tab thing is a yeah. new concept for the story. It's sort of a timeless thing. So this is a, a popular graphic novel series called Five Worlds. And we just got the first two. Cool. It looks really fun. Um, I know my son's really excited to read this one, so. I'm kind of tempted to. Um, the Underfoot, The Mighty Deep. This sounds like it's a series. Yeah. Is this the first one? I think book? that's just the first one. I, I think it's... Ooh, I like when they have, like, little maps. This guy looks like he's going on some, like, fierce adventure, so. <laughs> cool. I like that art. Okay, A is for Elizabeth, and this is a, like, a, just a starter chapter book, you know, with some illustrations, um, and it's about a girl who is in second grade, and, um, huh. Oh, she doesn't like that her name isn't first in the alphabet. <laughs> These are important issues when you're in second grade. This, and, and this goes, oh, look, yeah, this goes with it, Oh, look, yeah, there's Big Mouth Elizabeth. So. Sounds a little bit like a Ramona-style book where she's, like, mm. good-intentioned but getting in trouble. Yeah. Hidden Witch. That's the sequel to Witch Boy, which I read and really liked. Same here, yeah. yeah. It's the first one there. I didn't know there was a sequel until someone was like, why don't you have that? And I was like, oh, people got to tell me. If I don't if I do not do it, it's usually an accident. Um, the Breakaways. Bad at soccer, okay at friends. <laughs> okay. This looks like a, maybe a graphic novel for slightly older kids. Yeah. Maybe even teenagers. Let's see. Uh, oh, I guess it's middle school. So sort of, you know, like, like yeah, okay. maybe six or seven. Okay. Um, I got a lot of Cleopatra books. Cleopatra in space. And it looks like we have book five, two. We got all, I'm the, assuming first all five. Of the other ones. We're a little bit late to the party on this one. It turns out this is a super popular series that like everyone is reading. But now we have them. And um, I think that they will be really popular. And the new one, there's a new one coming out this year. And they just, kids keep wanting them. So. Cool. 
Now we have to fight for them. <laughs> Making friends. And this is sort of in the realistic um, realistic graphic novel, sort of in the style of Raina Telgemeier. Mm. Um, yeah, it looks, I guess it looks a little this bit This is like sixth grade. Uh, so def definitely like slightly on the older side, but still not teenager. Oh yeah, we have more of them. Okay. I'm, yeah, that's what I was wondering, if there are any more of those. Oh, here's another five worlds, just to get that out of the way. Um, high in the sky. I'm super excited about this one. I've heard really good things. Um, Jinglin moves to a new country and he feels like he's landed on Mars. Um, and he really wants to bake cakes. Ooh, yeah. He, he daydreams about making all the cakes on the menu of pie in the sky bakery his father planned to open before he passed away. Oh. So, and there's some illustration. It's a pretty thick book, honestly, but, um, it looks like there's a lot of illustration mm -hmm. in it also. Yeah, I know for kids, it makes a big difference. Like, they'll read a lot of words if there's, like, a few pictures mixed in. Makes a big difference to me. <laughs> Why don't they do that for adult books? Here's another realistic graphic novel. Um, this is by Terry Livinson, who wrote Emmy. Wait, Invisible Emmy and Positively Izzy. Mm -hmm. I really liked in, popular. I really liked Invisible Emmy. It was It's a really quick read, and it's just sort of about school and life. Click. Uh, acting, I think it's a little mm -hmm. the fifth grader who acts, I guess. I think Rest we have another book by her. It might already be in the collection. But yeah, that same sort of style. This is the new book by Pseudonymous Bosch. Pseudonymous, I don't know. The Unbelievable Oliver and the Four Jokers. And this also is in that same category of like chapter book with illustrations. Nature Play at Home. This looks like a good one. Uh, I guess it's just teaching kids how to play outside. Arranging tree parts for climbing. That's interesting. So, like, if it doesn't come naturally to you, then... This is nice just to have ideas. Plants for seeing. Huh. That's interesting. Plants for smelling, plants oh, for touching. The ones that are okay to see. Um, a guide to Roblox games. I'm sure that will go out so much. Uh, another Splat the Cat. Easy reader. Jojo and Daddy Bake a Pancake, an easy reader. And in this box, the last thing we have is Can You See Me? Uh, another easy reader. I like that. Reader. That's kind of clever. We have a whole other box. What did we get ourselves into? Okay. We didn't, we didn't like actually Here, open you do, this one. You do yet. that one and I'll, I'll get do the this one while you open it. So this is Ranger's Apprentice, the Loyal Ranger. Like a mil like literally, I mean maybe not literally a million, but a lot of books. Um, so noisy. <laughs> so just the next one in the series. I think we have like all the other ones that you possibly have. This is called Shouting at the Rain, and it's by the author of Fish Tree, which is a really popular, really well-reviewed um, middle grade novel. Um, oh, oh no, it's about a girl who lives in Cape Cod year-round, and she has a friend who she's friends with every summer, and that friend dumps her. Uh, it says she likes storms, but she doesn't like storms in her, like, personal life, which I think I, I agree mean, with. Yeah. I totally agree with. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I like this. Lion and Mouse. I just like, mm -hmm. there's just something about the illustration there that's really nice. Oh, and it doesn't have a ton of text. There's some dialogue-y stuff, but... I feel like the lion looks really nice. liony, but also sort of compelling. I, don't know. Yeah, I agree. It makes me want to take it home. Summer. This is by Cal Waxoon. Oh, I think this is a book that was popular internationally and then maybe was translated. I really like this too. It's yeah, style. it looks fun. I just feel like that's a good sign if they. Yeah, yeah, it was written in Chinese. I'm pretty sure. So. Yeah, some picture books are really good to read just once, and just it's mm -hmm. just nice the way it is. There are others that you can read over mm -hmm. and over and over. There's a big difference. Abner and Ian get right side up. 
Oh no! They're having some issues. Look, the text on the back is upside down. Oh no! I don't. <laughs> this is very confusing to me already. <laughs> but it looks like definitely the kind of book that like will engage kids. Yeah, it sounds like there's a problem solving aspect. Yeah. <laughs> Curious George, another board book. Tiny T Rex and the Impossible Hug because he's got such little arms. I love this book so much already. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. It oh my god. Lamb Slide. This is by the mega famous Anne Patchett, who writes adult novels and is a bookstore owner and now I guess is branching what? out to be like a children's book writer person. I like the artwork. Yeah, me too. Robin Price Lamb Lamb Slide. It looks familiar. Yeah. Oh, baby. Fancy Nancy. This one looks great. Llama destroys the world. Ooh, ooh look oh, at yeah. the back. Look at the back. <laughs> <It's> like, oh. <laughs> I really, I really like this. I like that. I feel like in like, um, like lots of times TV shows and like science fiction fantasy books is all about like saving the world. I like that that has moved to children's book. Now we have to save the world. <laughs> and well, and this one mentions the days of the week, so I think there's like a little bit of a learning thing going on. <laughs> Cout, cout fish back to school. I don't think I meant to order it in this like really thin paper bag. What What's done is done. What's done is done. Another Pete the Cat. It's you bitsy spider. Oh, this is another gorgeous one. We are the gardeners. Oh, this is by Joanna this Gaines, who wrote um the like the secret garden coloring books, like super fancy coloring mm. books. She was sort of in the vanguard of the coloring books for adults phase. Cool. But this is not a coloring book, it's an actual story about children who are gardening. It's right time here. Mm -hmm. Pig the stinker. Pig is a pug and apparently in this one he stinks like gross. Some other books. I Definitely think, have a lot of books by that author. Yeah, I think that we have a couple. Sign off, and this is such a great premise for a picture book. It's what the like all the animals and things on signs do when no one is looking. So I like that. Yeah. <laughs> so like you can see like the guy in the wheelchair like rolls away. And it's I don't think it's totally worthless. You can see here's like the construction worker guy, he's off building a sand castle. Um, but it's mostly worthless. I think kids will like it though. It's yeah. like a good imagination thing. Um for older kids now. The Strangers, Greystone Secrets. What makes you you uh kidnapped? Children were kidnapped. Uh, something. It's about family and friendships. This is a new series, I guess. By, and it's by Margaret Peterson Haddock, who wrote like Among the Hidden and all of those. She's just like a really big name. Her books get read a lot in like school and stuff. So this is a new series by her. A new Pinkalicious. I'm personally a Pinkalicious fan. She always makes me laugh. Um, Brave Lands, Shifting Shadows, another Aaron Hunter book. The animals and whatnot. My name isn't Oof. Warren the Warbler takes flight. <laughs> oh no, it's like the chipmunk is trying to teach him to fly. The line tender. I really like the illustration mm -hmm. on the front. Um, so Lucy's training to be a marine biologist, I guess. I really like the cover. Oh. And it ha it takes place on Cape Cod. Is this the one where her friend dies? Is that um, one yeah, of the, one of the many ones where the friend dies. Yeah. yeah, her father is depressed, and sounds like kind of like a, sadder, but yeah, still important. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this because I love the title. It's called Princess Puffy Bottom and Daryl, and it sounds like it's about two pets, maybe with different styles, who are trying to get along. Puffy Bottom. <laughs> Oh, life was good. I have a feeling I know what's coming. There's going to be a dog. Princess Puffy Bottom sounds high maintenance. <laughs> yeah. Red light, green lion. Oh. Hmm. This is nice. Ooh, I, I'm, I like these ones with minimal color. Yeah. Like Harold in the Purple Crayon style, where it's just... But, yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting from this. <laughs> Oh, this is so sad. It's the sad little fact. <laughs> and now I need to know what the fact is. I don't know. 
Well, it's a children's book, but I feel like right now in like the adult world, we have a lot of sad facts that are just getting rained on. Yeah. Um, Oh, nobody believes it. People accuse it of being fake and they try to destroy its spirit. But facts cannot be buried. I like the way this book is going, though. Wow, that looks pretty intense. Yeah. I do feel like maybe someone's kind of trying to speak through a child's book. (laughs) But I'm super intrigued. Mm. Spark. This is a series. It looks almost like it's got a dragon. It does. And tomorrow. She writes teen books. Yeah. Sarah Beth Durst. Mm-hmm. Doesn't she? Or no, no, she, maybe she doesn't. Maybe I'm confused. She also wrote these things here, if you can see those. I want to see. <laughs> so it looks oh, like a fantasy. Yeah, no, I think I'm confused. Yeah, Storm Beasts and Their Guardians. She's a 12 year old. Oh, no, no, she does. She wrote Queen of Blood. That's not here, probably because it just doesn't go with these books, mm-hmm. but that was like a, a darker YA book. She's enrolled in Lightning School. Total fantasy. <laughs> And last one, we made it through. I know this is maybe our longest long. one ever, but I don't think we realized what we were getting into. Okay. <laughs> and this is called My Cat Looks Like My Dad. <laughs> and they do, it's my, I don't know if it's hard to see, but they do kind of look alike. And I have no idea where the book is going to go with this. Um, it's a different oh, style of um, It's like all the things artwork. the cat has in common with the dad. Like here are the cat and the dad doing yoga. And... Yes, it's um it looks like it's like cutouts that they pasted. Oh, they're taking a nap together. <laughs> yeah. well, that's that. We're done. We're done. We're really excited to read a lot of these. Bye.